Good day world from Camigan Island, Southern Philippines. This is where it all started for me. Eight months ago, I started a little beach cleanup group off of Facebook. This is our first beach that we cleaned. It doesn't look too bad now because the tide took it all away. And it was quite the mess. And uh, we piled up several sacks of trash and they sat right there for a good month while we were begging for them to get picked up and before long they started falling over and blowing back into the ocean because the government wouldn't pick up our trash that we collected on the beach. That's the issue we have. Here's an old bathroom setup. That's the old style toilets that you just kind of squat over. I don't know why they would put it so close to the ocean but it's not functional. And this is what we have now. This is thanks to our fast food chain Jollibee. I suggested that they put some trash cans down here, but that's not happening, so this mess over here is pretty ugly here, too. They come down and they party. They had a couple little shacks here. It looks like they got blown away with the typhoon, so now we just got this to clean up, and nobody will clean it up, but we'll sit here until it blows into the ocean, and then I'll get it on a beach cleanup, so anyway, after participating here, I'll get this out a little bit beach cleanup we had one or two more and it kind of fizzled less and less people kept showing until it was finally me and mark and a few locals and then even that fizzled out so that's when i adopted the road on ferry Brill. but then the problem was where do we take the trash and that's how i got started on the mrfs well actually they're not mrfs they're recycle cages because i started packing the garbage from here and the other beach cleanups on my bicycle trailer and my car and I take them to the recycle cages in Babagon and overloading them so and that's why I did like full circle I'm right back to trying to initiate single stream recycling and get that going it's the only hope that we have here but people are very hard-headed you know they just don't want to read the signs they don't want to take the time to separate some of them do but they put it all in the same bag anyway they got the recyclables on the bottom and then a second bag of trash on top two compartments that the recycle cage they think it's all one big cage they can't differentiate so I'm pulling my hair out I don't know what to do I'm gonna try a little creative design on some real life cans and bottles and stuff and a sign put Matana which is wake up Tanawa look see if I can get their attention and uh, I'm gonna have to babysit the cage I want to go find Gingging, Ging, the one that was working with me at the Anito MRF that I recently got banned from going up and getting my tires and bottles because they don't want me up there in government facilities and sadly she doesn't work there anymore because she got in trouble for helping me and letting me be there and taking pictures and video and someone got upset and fired her so I'd like to find her she was the best they had up there for knowing how to separate you know like taking the caps off the spray cans and separating the metal from the plastic she's really good at all that I'd like to hire her for my cage down here. So, so I'm starting here Monday tomorrow. I'm going to start asking around where she is. We could use a good person like her. That wasn't fair what they did. She was just excited thinking she was helping. And she was. If it wasn't for her, two of the booms wouldn't have gotten made. She got at least enough bottles for two of them there. She was really good for me and my booms. So now, what should I do here? I tried to get them to put trash cans down here, but they don't want to. This is the way they like it, I guess. So I think I need to go to another island, or even the other side of this island. It's not like this. There's not trash like this, only in Mambahau. This is just clean and beautiful Mambahau. So the slogan goes, huh? And then I get in trouble because I'm criticizing what's going on here when it's right in your face. How can you not see that? Sorry, but... Uh, I'm a foreigner. I don't sit there and keep my mouth shut. If I see something that disturbs me, I talk about it. That's just the way I am. And you know what? Sometimes that gets things done. We will see. Look at those clouds sitting on top of Mount Hibok Hibok over there. Can't even see the top. I always joke that's where the UFOs are hiding. Nice day out. I like this kind of weather. This is just down from my house. This is Balbagon Elementary where my little girl went to. 
and this is kind of a hidden off to the side recycle cage when it starts getting full I know we're in trouble this one is very rarely used but looks like they got at least somewhat segregated but a lot of it's still mixed there's no signs there was to start with you can see the remnants of the tape pack there but still the same issue people don't know what to do because they're not instructed properly by the government here so the government wants it to be segregated but they don't give them any help on how to or just what to do so then they refuse to pick it up because it's not segregated so that's a battle we have a little bit of typhoon damage on that one corner there but I like to see these when they're on concrete slabs and away from the greenage a little bit so it doesn't get overgrown we'll go down to the main one we're having issues with I'll be back that's the Balbogon school down there this one here is just between the school and the Barangay Hall, you can see the Christmas display. There's another recycle cage there. This is the problem we're having. We need to get signage up where the people just don't know where to put it. And so they get frustrated and they just stack it outside. Even though all these cage doors are open. And then the dogs get in it. But it needs some signage. It's a nice cage. I wish we could convert it to two sides instead of three, which we could. I'm working with the Barangay captain on that. But... This is part of my overall mission here. If I can't fix this, we don't have places to put the trash from the kabooms. The people need to be taught, and uh, you've got to teach the government first, it's looking like. so. But yeah, what a mess, huh? It just keeps getting worse. We'll head down to the next one here. Nice Sunday. Overcast, beautiful for biking. Well, we're coming up on the Barangay Hall. We got a really nice Christmas display here this year. I don't think it hardly even got damaged. We'll give you a full shot of that. There it is. Isn't it nice? Huh? There's the other recycle cage over there. This one here gets a little bit more attention. It's right in front of the Barangay Hall. Even it's getting kind of full. Once again, there's no signs. We need to fix that. I know this looks like a repeat of the last one, but this is what I have to fix now. I can't just let it go. You know, I just this has got to be fixed. This is part of a big circle loop. You know, I started on the beaches, and then on the roads, and then I had to find a place to put them. So put it in the MRFs or recycle cages and then they get full and don't get picked up and I this goes round and round See Babagons very fortunate they actually used their money and built six of these cages nice metal cages 14,000 apiece right around what 200 three hundred dollars right around there each and the people use them they just don't haven't been taught how to segregate and this one here Arnold and I usually put the diapers on that far left side but at least they're left open now I can see people attempt somewhat they segregate but they think plastics is everything but they don't recycle all the plastics here not the sachets they don't recycle plastic bags they used to they don't recycle hardly anything except the hard plastics bottles containers and that here we are at my recycle cage I had some help with making that one that's basically diapers are prohibited in Filipino and what do they do they stack their diapers there's three or four or five sacks of them there is diaper pickup once a week. I told them it's probably not enough. It doesn't matter what signs I put up here. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So maybe I can ask you, I got a question here. I'm the one that made this cage. I even put a sign up in Filipino so people don't put the diapers in here. And they just put these in last night. 
So how do I stop that? Because LGU comes, they look at this, they go, no, we're not going to touch that. We told you no diapers in here. So I did what they wanted. I put up the sign and the people still put the diapers in here. How do I stop that? Once a week, they pick up the diapers, but not from this cage. And now LGU is not going to touch this. It's just going to sit here. They go, no, that's not segregated. It's, we're not going to touch it. So how do I fix it? Yeah, it's hard-headed. I, I was going to say tapulan, but hard-headed too. How so. about you put cameras on the cage? <laughs> then we'd have to... Well, there we got it. From the horse's mouth. I talked to the lady that lives here. And I asked why, when I put the sign up, do people still violate the rules and put their diapers in here? And then LGU looks at it and goes, we're not touching that. When in fact, they take all this to the landfill with the diapers anyway. So... And you know what the lady said? Filipinos are hard-headed. So how am I going to change 100 years of culture and decades of hard-headedness with this recycling cage? we got to do something. I hate to say anything bad, but we got to hit them where it hurts. We're going to have to start finding people or start charging them to use the cage. You know, have an attendant down here. If you want to drop your garbage off, you got to pay for it. I was thinking about that anyway, privatizing the garbage here. The government doesn't seem to care about it. They got it laying all over town. It's about time a new sheriff came in town and cleaned this mess up. They're not going to like that it's a foreigner though. That's the only bad thing. If this is my own country, I'd probably be celebrated and praised. But here, I'm an embarrassment. I wonder if that thing's going to fall over if it gets too full. I don't think so. That's pretty heavy. That thing's already crushing the bottom. I wonder how many kilos of trash or metric tons of trash this thing can hold. I made it big. Good thing I did. Those other smaller ones in Balbagon would have been twice over full by now. Well, let's go down and check on the king.